Hi, in this video we will talk about how to expand the Hog transform to shapes that cannot be represented with an equation. In the previous video, we reviewed the algorithm to fit shapes that can be described with a specific equation, but sometimes we don't have such thing. For example, imagine that you want to find this shape in your image. We can use the Hog transform to do so. But first we need to create a model that represents this shape. This is called the Hof model. And it contains relevant information to describe the shape. The first step to create the Hof model is to define an anchor point. It could be the center of the shape, but you can decide where to put it. We will use this point as a reference for the search. Now, for each point in the shape, we're going to calculate the gradient orientation that we call phi, the distance to the anchor point, let's call it r, and the angle of this vector, and let's call this alpha. We will loop over the shape and we store these three values in a table. We need them because it's possible that some points in the shape share the same edge orientation. And actually, we will store all these values based on that. So this table is called the phi table because we will order all the points based on phi. And in the right, we have the vectors. Okay, once we have our model of the shape, we can search for it in the image. So the generalized Hof transform goes in this way. We create an accumulator matrix full of zeros. The goal is to find the location of the anchor point of our shape. So for each point in the image, we will look at its gradient orientation and we will search for it in the fit table. Remember that here we store all possible vectors R that are pointing to the anchor point. And also that for each angle phi, we can have different number of vector r. In this case, we have two. Each of these vectors are pointing to the possible location of the anchor point. So we find the coordinates that each vector is pointing to, and we add one in that position of our accumulator matrix. And then we repeat until we visit each point in the image. Once you have visited all the points, your accumulator matrix will have a maxima that shows the location of the anchor point of the shape, in the same way that in the circle example. This implementation will look only for the specific shape that we define in our model. So, as you can see in this example, it does not identify the same shape in a different size or orientation but you can expand the model, including the scale and rotation in your parametric space. So you will have an accumulator array of four dimensions that are related to x, y points in the image. Of course, these will be computationally demanding, and you can run out of memory depending on the image that you are processing. In general, the Hof transform worked really well and it has the advantage to be robust against occlusions. As long as there are several points of a shape, you will be able to find it, due to the Bolte system. And of course, the better the preprocessing, the better the result. Your input image can have a huge impact in both the accuracy of the result and the processing time. Okay. In this video, we talk about how to create a Hawk model to represent any shape and how to use the Hawk transform to find it on an image. See you next week.